tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present Vegas Talk, starring Dylan Jorgensen, also featuring Jason Outlaw, Bonnie Gore, Rose Donahue. Tonight's guest from ESPN radio show, Sabrina Chapman. Motivational speaker, Will Rucker. Music by Jessica Manalo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Kim Kardashian's former bodyguard, Jason Outlaw. Hey, what's up? How's it going? How's it going? Woohoo! <laughs> give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso. Let's hear it for him, huh? <laughs> yes. How you doing, Lenny? I feel good. You feel good, James yeah. Brown style. How? <laughs> Jump back. I have white socks on today, so I'm not feeling that good. I'm not I'm really not. Doesn't match the outfit. It's cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, thank you guys for being here. I am Jason Outlaw, one of your hosts, and this is what's in the news. In Las Vegas, a can of cinnamon rolls exploded inside a man's butt during a shoplifting incident at Walmart. That's right. But don't worry, by Walmart standards, those cinnamon rolls are still good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did I get an O already? That's how we're starting tonight. We're starting with the O's. All right. <laughs> uh, several news sources are now reporting that Kim Kardashian's robbery was an insurance scam by Kanye West. That's right. You know something, though? I hope he gets the money so he can make clothing that doesn't suck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not a fan. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the vice presidential debate was this week. That's right. Um, and actually, I can't write a joke about this because just like everyone else, I didn't watch it either. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> uh, Vanilla Ice and Babyface were eliminated from Dancing with the Stars this week. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Turns out the show realized that they're not really stars. <laughs> oh, I got to ooh again? <laughs> Was it because of baby face of those, or was it vanilla those, ice? One of those days, one of those days. Uh, like vanilla ice. Uh, high school teams in Washington are forfeiting rather than playing a game against an NFL-sized team. That's right. Uh, that is averaging 60 points a game and has only allowed one field goal all season. That's right. Turns out Tom Brady has been playing football during his suspension. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yo, let's go light up some kids. <laughs> That's what he's about. What he's about. He's a Heisman Trophy. All right, good stuff. Um, police have arrested a 102-year-old woman. That's right. The reason is she had never been arrested, and she had never been in the back of a police car. That's right. However, they decided to draw the line when she asked for some nookie in the back seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she pull out the teeth. It's all heaven. All right. <laughs> Did I? Was that me? <laughs> was that me? <laughs> I don't even know if that's going to make TV. I have no idea. Where's my life going, guys? I don't know. I don't know. Um, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt's wax figures have been separated at Madame Tussauds Museums. That's right. However, the wax figures of their kids were just sent back. Oh. <laughs> They got a lot of kids, man. What do they do with them? What do they, where do they go? What do they got, like 18 kids? I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, no, that's a show, isn't it? 18 kids and counting. Yeah, that's weird. Um, all right. Uh, Disney World has closed its gates for the fourth time in history. That's right. And the reason we're all hurricane-related. That's right. Hurricane Floyd, Hurricane Francis, Hurricane uh, Jean, and now Hurricane Matthew. That's right. Um, what do all these have in common? Well, they all sound like old people who are angry about the prices in, in, at Disneyland. Yes, that's right. <laughs> like, or like, don't tell France that they increase the prices. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> all right. Uh, a 21 year old Australian tradesman has been bitten by a venomous spider on his penis for the second time. Yes. Ladies, this just goes to show you a 21-year-old man will let anything near his penis. <laughs> hey, we've got a wonderful show for you guys. Give it up for DJ Lenny Alfonso! <laughs> Our next guest always wanted to move to Las Vegas when he was a child. 
Now he has moved here, and he spends a lot of his time thinking about body, mind, and spirit. And he helps people learn about those things as well. Please welcome Will Rucker. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Hi, everybody. Have a seat. Get comfy. <laughs> Are you having a good evening so far? So far, so good. Fabulous. Yes, how That's about you? what I like to hear. Oh, absolutely. Good. Absolutely. Good. Everyone's beautiful and exciting, and you're yeah. here. <laughs> so, feeling awesome. Awesome. So, where were you before you decided to make your dreams come true and move to Las Vegas? Wow. Well, born and raised right outside of Detroit, Michigan. So. Yeah, hey. you're up in Detroit. Turn up Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but spent a few years in Texas. Just making my way west, and now I'm here, and I call this place home. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. You mentioned earlier that it feels like you're always on vacation here. Oh, it is. It's incredible. You wake up, the sun is shining, blue skies, mountains, palm trees. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> that's yeah. wonderful. So yeah. other than the positive vibes, what brought you to Las Vegas? You know, I came out here to start a church, a ministry, a community organization, something to connect people with what I think is most important, and that's their spirituality. That's f fantastic, and uh, you really spend a lot of time thinking about spirituality. Is Absolutely, that right? yeah, yeah. Spirituality is very important to me. I notice that a lot of people deal with their physical health or mental health, but then the spirit just gets left out. And you need to connect all three in order to really win at life. Right. Yeah. Awesome. And you have a program coming up here in Las Vegas at the center that's yes. about helping the community out and figuring those things out, right? Yes, it's called Love Life. I am so excited about this program. So it's every Friday night at the center, and we're dealing with loving your mind, loving your soul, loving your voice. It's going to be an incredible top-to-bottom program. And that's love. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be an awesome program. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> love that. So love stands for? Love stands for Lift Up Vegas, L-U-V. Oh, okay, cool. Well, that's a beautiful little acronym. Yeah. And it sounds like a lot. Love Vegas, love yourself. Absolutely. So beautiful messages. I'm so excited about the program. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet. Well, I have a game for us. Uh-oh. I want to keep hearing about the program. Okay. I want to keep hearing about the work you do. Sure. But since you do help people with speech and confidence, I just want to make sure we're going to test you a little bit on it. I'm game. Let's do it. All right. So we're playing Fluffy Bunny. Every minute, we're going to put a marshmallow into our mouths and try to keep talking. Let's start. All right. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> tell me about how it <laughs> <laughs> what it's like to be a love coach. Being a love coach is exciting, it's challenging. Love, yeah. love romantic love. Mm -hmm. Help people find love. My stars. <laughs> Being a, a love coach is really helping people love themselves first, mm. understanding friendship, how to connect with people on a real tangible level, and really being unafraid to be who they are, to be authentic, to be inspirational, to be fabulous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You're supposed to shift them around. Yeah, I'm working on it. What is the first thing someone has to do when approaching someone they like? The oh. first thing someone should do is find something to compliment them on. Mm -hmm. Not something creepy, but something cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like piece of clothing? Piece of clothing, earrings, hairstyle, something like that. Is that Great how you smile. Oh, okay, cute. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that what you do? You know, I don't have to do that anymore, but back when I did, <laughs> yeah, I would that find something. That was a go-to? That was a go-to. Mm. What is it that you do now to maintain a healthy relationship? Oh, gosh. Communicate, communicate, communicate. And then just understanding, being, being forgiving, accepting people where they are. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's the key to it, is accepting them. Because people change over time. Mm -hmm. And so letting them be who they are at that moment and loving, loving them where they are. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. That is really beautiful. <laughs> is that, is that a, a, a... Better just do it. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> 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 I got through it somehow, right? 
All right. I feel like a chubby bunny. Do you feel like a chubby bunny? I, I feel very chubby. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty chubby. Try my best. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, All right, let's go. So what's the mistake people make? The mistake people make <laughs> is diving in too fast. They don't give them time to be who they are, to learn. Mm -hmm. The first time you meet someone, it's not the real person. It's the representative. It's the person they, they want to present. Mm -hmm. Over time, you figure out who they really are. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a very rewarding thing. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. When you get to really see people, mm -hmm. they don't wake up like that. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's one of those things that they get to let their hair down, take their makeup off, whatever it may be. Over time, you'll figure out that sometimes they're not that nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, great. All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Well, it's like laughs> <laughs> um, so, um. <laughs> She's a trooper. <laughs> what do you do when people aren't nice? When people aren't nice, <laughs> you intentionally be nice to them. Mm. You love them when they're mean. It's like making them really angry. It's kind of passive aggressive because you're just really nice to them. And then they're like, oh my gosh, this guy is so nice. This girl is so nice. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Oh, Lord, no, more. No. <laughs> uh -uh. Mm -mm. But it breaks down their walls, too. Mm -hmm. And it lets them accept you and, and turn the tables kind of that way. Well, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, no, my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So you are a love coach. Yeah, I'm a freedom coach. A freedom coach. Yes. Why freedom, right? <laughs> <laughs> Why freedom coach? People are looking for freedom. They want the freedom to love, to be who they are, to live without being afraid. And so when you help people find their core to who they really are, it empowers them to be free. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture in the Bible I love. It says, for freedom, Christ set us free. So the only reason we're free is to be free. And so we should help people to, to live in their authentic self that way. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, is there, what is your one piece of advice for everyone in the audience, everyone at home for self-improvement? My one piece of advice for self-improvement definitely has to be learn to love yourself. Learn to love your flaws, your imperfections, and learn to embrace the things about yourself that are amazing. You have so many gifts, so many talents, so many skills. You are just an incredible gift to the earth. So be everything that you are in every situation. That's the key to self-improvement. My gosh. Very well said after a mouth of marshmallows. I just, like, can we just give him another round of applause for that one? Because, like... Oh, amazing. And where can we find you? Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Impressive, no. right? You can find me at <laughs> winningwithwill.com. That's winningwithwill.com. Or, of course, if you have Facebook, uh, Will Rucker Official is the Facebook, hash, uh, Facebook page. Amazing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having Round me. Round applause once more. Yeah. Stay tuned. We have Sabrina Chapman up next from SBN Radio. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> NBC talk radio show, Final Countdown. Let's dive into some celebrity athlete gossip with Sabrina Chapman. <laughs> Welcome. How are you? Good, how are you? Please have a seat on our red couch. Well, thank you. We don't know where it's been, but we... And I don't know what's been going on on this couch. No, <laughs> not very many of us do. We got it, like, outside a fraternity house, so... <laughs> but it's fine, just... You're wearing pants, not a dress, so... You should be good. <laughs> so tell me, what got you into sports radio? Well, I have to tell you, Bonnie, that um, I, if you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be in sports radio, I would have said absolutely not. Um, but I had an amazing person that I met along the way of life's journeys, and that would be Michael Price, who is in the audience right now. Hey, Michael. Um, yeah. 
he brought me into it, and he said, you know what? I love your personality. And I said, I don't know sports. He said, that's okay. And we rolled with it. And your show is so much fun. And, you know, you say you don't know sports, but you know about some athletes. And oh, that's yeah. fun to listen to. <laughs> so what's, you know, what is one of your favorite athletes that you've interviewed? Um, last week, I interviewed Smiley Kaufman, who won the PGA Tour last year of the, um, it was the Shiners Open. And it was so much fun because, you know what, I love interviewing the athletes, not so much of, like, their accomplishments and everything like that. But what is, like, the nitty-gritty? What kind of gets them going? And this right. guy is so hyper-competitive. Okay. Um, he was like, I'm competitive about everything, even including tic-tac-toe. And I was like, all right, let's go. Right? So you played. We played. Did he win? He won. Did you let him win? No, I didn't. But I, th I, w I would like to say that I did, but I did not. <laughs> and it, anything juicy? Any, like, any juicy stuff from any other athlete? Like, do you ever, like get to some good gossip with them? Well, I do follow TMZ Sports. Unfortunately, oh, I have not had the, uh, I haven't had the opportunity yet to get that juicy celebrity gossip that we can be the first to release, but we are working on that. Um, but I have to say that I, currently I love the Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Thompson story. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, as you know, there is a, something known as the Kardashian curse, and right. uh, Tristan Thompson is in slippery waters. Uh-oh. So we're excited see. about that one. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, she might be preggers. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Controversy. According to like 12 hours ago. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, you actually were on the brink of being on a reality TV show yourself. Tell me about that. That is correct. So I got a call last February from E Entertainment, which I have to say, when E Entertainment calls, you pick up. And it was for the was show. Was it Juliana Rancic? I like no, her. No, but I love her. I love oh. her. Um, it was from a, a casting, you know, production company. Oh, that's weird. And yeah, it was a little bit. Uh, and they're like, do you want to be on a dating show? And I was like, is it anything to do with The Bachelor? No. And they said, no, 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 it's something different. There's a celebrity host uh, who everybody's vying for, Travis Kelsey, which I don't know if everyone's seen the show that's come out, but it's called Catching Kelsey on E! Entertainment. I've seen it on the internet. And I got to like Not round three, right? They bring you out, they fly you what out. What do you do? You have to stand there and just like, it's like rapid fire questions, you know, boom, 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 boom. Right. It's super exciting. You know, you have to like show off your personality. And I didn't make the, I didn't make the final cut, but I know. It's okay. I, but you know, I, I'm not going to be the future Mrs. Kelsey. I'm okay with that. I've come to I've, I've come to terms. And is he engaged? He's not engaged. So he's still on the field. So Coincidence? I think not. I don't know. Had I been on that show. I know. Yep. I know. Yes. He would have been starstruck in love. I know. I know. Your loss, E! Entertainment. <laughs> but <laughs> I know Sabrina off the show. That's why I root for her. But <laughs> um, What's your favorite football team? Do you root, do you have a football team? Do you like do the fantasy thing? I don't do the fantasy thing because it's almost like a full time job. Right. Um, I do have the players that I love, and I, for one, was a huge JJ Watt fan. Unfortunately, he can't, went down with an injury, and he oh may no. never be back to football. Um, so I have to say, I'm actually going back to my home roots, which is the Steelers. I don't oh, okay. not a huge fan of Ben, but I do love some Antonio Brown. Black and yellow. Which one would you rather marry? Um, JJ. Yeah? Yeah. It's like, oh. <laughs> well, I think, see, I, we keep talking about football, but I personally think baseball players are hotter. Yes. So I would rather get with somebody like um, Tim Tebow. <laughs> Tim Tebow, one of my favorite subjects. Mm -hmm. As you know, he just recently got back. Well, actually, he just got into baseball, and he hit a home run. Oh, so you think he has a chance? Chance with you? Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> I think he would be honored. We're going to call him right now. Tim Chibo. Just in case he's on you the You want to date with Bonnie? Because I know the girl for you. <laughs> we can try. Yeah. All right. Well, where can people find you? You guys have a great show. You're, it's funny. It's so funny, you guys. So, if, you know, it's an AM talk show, and it's really, really fun to listen to when you're driving in your car, or getting ready. Where can people find you? So there's three hosts. Uh, there's Jeremy Long. There's um, Michael Price, both in the audience right now. We also have a celebrity host that comes on with us, Brett Raymer from the famous TV show Tanked. And you can find us online. Um, please follow our podcast, The Final Countdown. We're a lot of fun. We're not your typical sports show. Uh, we like to laugh. We like to have fun. We like to crack jokes, sometimes lewd 
entertainment, um, which we like to slide in there. I so, love it. <coughs> absolutely. And when does your show air? So we're on Thursday and Friday, two to three p.m. in the afternoon, live NBC Sports. And then we're on Saturday morning. If you happen to be up at the hours from seven to six to seven a.m., uh, whether you're coming home from the nightclub or just getting up early for the crack of dawn, doesn't matter. And on social media? On social media, yep, we're at the Final Countdown LV, and we just joined Snapchat, so you can engage with us anywhere, anytime. Awesome. Well, we're all going to follow you. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. I had a blast chatting with you. But if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you stuck around because after our break, we are going to play a game called the Touchdown <laughs> Dance. for touchdown Bonnie, please take center stage. I will be throwing her the football. I will be the live commentator. Let's see how she does. And the football's out. She's caught it. She's at the 50-yard line. Tarzan's coming from the left. Duck. Ah! Whoa, you made it. You made it. You're at the 40-yard line already. Oh, my God. There's a slip and slide. She, she, slide. Wow, that took you an extra 30 yards. Ten. Oh, my God. You got it. Touchdown. Woo! She's dancing, she's doing the touchdown dance. Oh, personality points, I think. Yes, hey. Move it, girl, move it, girl. Whoa. Yes, yes. That's the dance. Judges. Judges, are you ready? Please reveal your scores. We have a nine. A nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he might could have given it a little bit more. <laughs> that is 26 points total. 26 out of 30, not too bad. Not a bad start. All right. Let's see. let's see if you can keep up. Please take center stage. And the football is launched. 50 yard line. What are you going to do? Trump supporters. Trump supporters. Dodge, turn, dodge, turn. Whoa, made it to the 30. That's great, that's great, that's great. Oh my god, puppy, 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 cute puppy, cute puppy. Okay, keep going, keep going. Last 10 yards, 10 yards. And touchdown! Ooh, pageant style, yeah. Dolphins turning it up. Check out those hits. I think that's rhythm, rhythm points. We've got some audience participation. <laughs> 28 and a half! Woo! Yay! ESPN for the win! Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, Jessica Manalo. This song is called Mr. Burns, and it's uh, one of my latest originals. And this one is a, a made up character that is addicted to vices and, and uh, kind of tells you about negative aspects um, with drinking, smoking, all that bad stuff. If you take it too far, what it can do to people around you and to yourselves. So this one is called Mr. Burns. <laughs> You say you're so sick of me, so why are you still holding on? Doing what I want, and I know there's no control in me. So I keep it in your head, you're not gonna be the one that finds me dead. This burden in your hands. Keep on infecting me with a cigarette burns. So I shot my liver down. I don't remember how. Every time I look in the mirror, I see 
someone I'm not supposed to be. I'm looking at my enemy. Why, why, why must I keep this burden in your head? Civil enemy. That's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew and to all you Vegas talkers at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night, 9 p.m. right here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us up on the rooftop for the after party. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Vegas Talk Show at Downtown Podcast. Thank you. Salamat, salamat, peace, love. Be kind to one another.